for so long, I didn't know what was going on with my body, and it was always there, making me feel terrible. It took me 10 years to find out something that I could have found out in eight seconds. I would describe my endometriosis as a shadow looming over me. I am 32 years old and I live in Fort Worth, Texas. I have a wonderful husband and two cats that I love dearly. I was a major tomboy as a kid. I loved playing sports. I loved being outside all of the time, riding bikes. I had a bunch of wonderful friends. I met John in 2007. I was 17 years old. My symptoms started shortly after I had met him. I felt like I had to go to the bathroom all the time. I was getting back pain, particularly around my kidneys. I sometimes would have blood in my urine, which was frightening to see, especially when results would come back saying that I had no bacteria in my urine. If I was feeling unwell, I'd rather stay at home than do anything, and so it became really difficult to kind of maintain relationships. I spent a lot of time online trying to search about my symptoms and what was going on with me. The emotional side of it was really difficult because I started to doubt, you know, am I even sane? Is there something really wrong with me if nobody can find it? Came home and I told John, I'm never going to another doctor again. They can't help me and I'm tired of being stressed. I felt like I was so powerless. She knew something was wrong and they were telling her that, oh, you're fine. We often see patients like Brenna in our endometriosis service. The average worldwide delay in diagnosing endometriosis is about eight years. And during this time, patients visit their healthcare provider many times. And a story like Brenna's is very common. And have you had any operations before? Endometriosis is a condition where tissue similar to the lining of the womb is in the wrong place in the body. When I first saw my gynecologist, immediately the first thing she did was listen to everything I had to say. She noticed right away that I had what appeared to be a cyst, and within about 15 minutes, I was getting an ultrasound done. If I had a magic wand and I could change the diagnosis of endometriosis, I need look no further than the transvaginal probe. A transvaginal ultrasound is where a small probe is placed very gently inside the woman's vagina, trying to obtain measurements and images to make a diagnosis of uh, what condition uh, she has in the pelvis causing her symptoms. After appropriate training, endometriosis can be diagnosed. When the doctor came in and told me that she thought I had endometriosis, I actually started crying. I wasn't crying because I was afraid or went so long, 10 years, trying to figure out what was going on with me. And I finally had somebody tell me that I'm not crazy. It was a very seamless process. A lot of my struggle throughout trying to get a diagnosis was I just felt like I have no idea what's happening to me and what my body looks like. Because my cyst was so large and because my endometriosis was very bad, ended up being a laparotomy, which is where they make a larger incision. Now knowing about endometriosis, our relationship has grown stronger. My self-confidence has skyrocketed since getting my diagnosis. When I felt my symptoms, I was always embarrassed now I know what's wrong with me and I feel much better. I'm able to explore and travel and maintain relationships like I wasn't able to before. She never gave up or stopped doing what she loved to do. She still continued and persevered. Since having my diagnosis, I've tried to be a lot more vocal about endometriosis. There is a lack of awareness. It took me 10 years to get diagnosed with something that a lot of women have. I think one of the biggest things that we can do as women is advocate for ourselves. In a lot of cases, we're not advocated for, and so we have to take that next step and really fight for ourselves.